A scary incident in Grand Rapids last night. A toddler fell out of a second story window. He's going to be okay. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson is working to learn what happened and what you can do to keep kids safe, Danny. Well, Sue, the cousin to that boy's mom is actually who lives in this home here. We're told that they were all gathered for a barbecue last night. When that little boy fell out of that second story window, the woman here says that it was just an accident. And after he fell, he actually got up and ran to his mom. We do know that the Grand Rapids Police Department says they are investigating what happened. She's a good mother, so all the rumors about her kids is getting taken is a lie. CPS is not doing anything to her kids. Her son does not have anything broken on his body. He's a healthy one-year-old. LaToya Maxwell tells 24-Hour News 8 that what happened last night was just an accident, a toddler getting away from his mom in just a minute, nothing more. It's not my landlord's fault, nor is Quanta's fault. Accidents happen. She says she's talked to her landlord and he does plan to install window locks. Grand Rapids Code says windows have to be able to be secured four to six inches open. One of the greatest things that you can teach your kids is that screens are there to keep the bugs out. They're not there to keep the kids in. Four inches open, that's all if you have kids, says Jennifer Hookstra, the injury prevention coordinator at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. She says kids should always be supervised around open windows and parents need to move furniture away from them so kids can't climb and get in trouble. And if the window does need to be open further, she says parents should get a window guard like this one to make sure the kids stay safe. It can happen very quickly. Often we as parents get distracted easily. We really want to make sure those windows are safe so that in case of a distraction, we know there's not going to be a bigger space than four inches. We know that it's going to be locked from the top or a window guard is in place for those times we do get distracted. Now we tried calling the landlord today about those windows, but so far we haven't gotten a response. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Danny Carlson, 24 Hour News 8.